Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Mr. Automation channel. Today in this session, we're going to discuss about how to handle multiple windows using Selenium Python. So this concept we have seen in Java version as well. So in case if you wanted to learn through Java, so I will share the link in the description box. You can find from there and let's get started. So basically whenever we have a website, for example, so this is a HTML page that I have designed. So basically the website also behave the same thing. Whenever we click a link, it opens in a new tab, right? So you have seen this kind of behavior in your application, right? So our automation is currently focusing on the, the active window. The wherever we are at the first page that is called as an active window. So once we click on any link, it will open into a new window. So to go there, normally our method will not work there. So whenever we give the multiple commands, right? So all commands will work on the current window. But to focus on the, the next window, so we have some code. So I will share that in this session. So do watch this entire session. So I will share you multiple options how to handle this windows. So come back to our PyCharm and let me create a new class or new Python file. So this we call as window window handles, right? So we have to use from Selenium import import web driver right after that we need to use driver statement so this is a reference variable so we need to call again web driver dot chrome and this chrome we don't need to provide any executable path so from the four version we have that privilege that we can directly call the browsers from the web driver after that we need to call driver dot get to launch the website so currently I'm using uh, HTML content so I can provide the location of it or in your case you can use a directly web application URL right so this application URL and after that you need to perform some action after going to that page you need to perform some action so what action you need to perform you need to click on this link here so I'm just inspecting it so here we have id as well so i'm going to take id for that and i'm gonna go back here and i will say simply driver dot find element and here i will use by statement so this by statement is from selenium commons so once you mouse over it you will see import selenium web driver commons from by dot i need to use id and separated by key value pair like uh, we provide right link one dot click right so after that if i wanted to see or if i wanted to perform another action so for example here after clicking this it went to this page right so i wanted to capture the title of this page right so basically what happened you assume that it went to that page and you are capturing the title of that new page so let me quickly use a print statement here print and let me use driver dot title so let me quickly save and uh, here i will provide a small wait time for a second right and let me quickly run this program now it has opened the website now you can see there is no title being present here because our the page which i have developed right that page doesn't have any title but we are trying to look for the title which we have opened in the new tab right so this is what we need to try to capture so for that we need to use this approach called so let me remove this two lines of code or let me read it later on i'm gonna call a reference variable called handles handles equal to driver dot get window handles right get or get window handles is basically when we use the java version right uh, here it's python so window handles right and after getting a window handle so whatever windows that i have opened right i have to capture all the windows and i need to know what is the exact size of it so i'm using a size reference here 
and I'm gonna use length method under that length method I'm gonna call handles so to see how many windows handles we have I can simply call print statement print uh, or I can simply call handles right these are the string types so I can call simply so they will print over there right so this is the one and after that you need to iterate on that right we have to iterate if I get four different window handles I need to iterate on that so it may be any number I am just taking a number of four so for that you need to use for for loop and I'm gonna say handle handle in range so what range we have so range we need to tell what is a range so under size we have all the range so it may be 4 5 10 it may be anything so all those number will be in size so we need to call that size here now I need to call driver dot switch to dot so which window we need to capture so currently we have to call window under that we need to mention handle so what handle it is so we need to call this as uh, so here we need to call handles dot handle or let me simply mention this as a reference x so I will say x here right and after that I'm gonna print something so print driver dot title so whichever page I open I will print that title here right so simply see save and let me quickly execute to see whether it's working or not right it went there it has captured the title of that page right so it is working now we need to know whether if I'm in a current window or not so I have got multiple windows open but I need to know whether uh, I'm in which window or I need to ignore my current active window I need to switch to the other window so to do that so for the same program we need to add a if condition there so if handles handles and under handles I'm say let's say x whatever the handle it for loop iterate I am saying ignore my current so to ignore that I am, I am going to say that handle shouldn't be equal to my current window let's say this is a current so see capitals current window handle right always it shouldn't be my current window handle if it is a my current window handle I should not switch window it may be I can only see a uh, one window at a time or there is no other tab open so in that case what if I do a switch window so no need of using that right so it's a uh, not to use that switch window when we have only one window so to ignore that case we have to use this condition I mean this uh, whenever this statement goes false then it will go to the statement and let me rerun again right here is capture the title right so this is the way that we can use this uh, but uh, to give you more uh, detailing like a few people uh, cannot understand by looking into this right so to give more detailing to this I can simply go and tell parent window parent window equal to so what is my parent window driver dot current window handle driver dot current window handle this is my actual current window so I can simply copy this so it's a T right T here so I can simply co copy this and I can put over here right so I can put like this and after that I capture title what I need to do I need to close that specific window not entire browser but I need to close that specific window so driver dot close and I should break condition then I should come out of for loop then I will say driver dot switch to dot window and here I need to provide parent window 
right so here why we need to switch so you might be asking this we have already switched to a window again you are giving another statement switch to and you are mentioning a parent window what is this so we are in a uh, second window and we operated there and our current uh, driver focus is always looking to that window only we need to tell driver no it is no longer available you come back to the parent window so to do that we need to use this statement so again after that I will do a driver dot close right so let me quickly execute now it went to my YouTube and it came back and uh, it has performed but I will give you some wait time so that you will understand so before this I will give you time dot sleep a second and after that time dot sleep a second right now you can see it went there it closed that window and it went to the main window parent window it closed that window too so this is the way that we can handle multiple windows using this approach so you can use this approach for any number of windows that you have and you can handle different different windows using this approach i hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague and thank you for watching.